Hello and welcome back to new Super Mario Bros. U. This is the second episode of this new Let's Play, and we're going to pick off here in Acorn Plains, uh, starting off with Yoshi Hill. Anyways, again, I'm playing this game with my twin brother, and we're going to pretty much uh, just try and have some fun. We're not, this isn't a serious Let's Play, we're not uh, actually competing against each other, we're using these assist blocks, and we're just having a good time with one another. Anyways, um, I believe this is my video, um, he did the last one, we are taking turns, and, uh, this is a blind let's play, this is the first time through, but, it's a Mario game, there's not a whole lot of curveballs that are gonna be thrown our way. Anyways, um, one of the things I was really excited about and looking forward to in New Su Super Mario Bros. U was the addition of Yoshi. He always seems to make some kind of appearance, but at the same time, it's always some kind of disappointing appearance. Some of the earlier trailers for the game really highlighted the fact that Yoshi was going to be in the game, and while he is, and there's even baby Yoshis which give you different powers and abilities, I just kind of felt like uh, overall the whole Yoshi experience was kind of watered down and cheap. I would really like to see a game kind of like uh, Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo, uh, where Yoshi has a more prominent role, but this is not going to be that game. Anyways, carrying on here in Yoshi Hill, named because we have Yoshi all over the place, um, I feel like there's only a handful of levels in the entire game that we actually get Yoshi in. Uh, I might be wrong on that, but that's the only times I encounter him, but then again, uh, my brother and I do tend to just kind of run through and skip a lot of stuff, so he may have been uh, around more often than we were thinking. So, would you carry on? Hmm. <clears throat> If I don't get killed by my brother, get killed by myself. The easiest mole in the game, and I'm getting hit. Yeah, you can use blocks for a lot of things, uh, such as blocking and moles. We're gonna get ourselves another Yoshi. One of my favorite things about Yoshi in Super Mario World was uh, kind of sacrificing him to get that extra boost of a jump and just uh, kind of flying over everything. There's a lot of parody videos that have been made about that very such thing. Um, now, like other games, Yoshi can swallow stuff, and if you get enough of these uh, fruits, you get an item. I was hoping that if Yoshi swallowed it, then we would get it, but I guess that's not the case. So, I'm just going to keep it in my mouth for a while, and I'll just take it to the end of the level with me. See what kind of uh, bonus we get. I know in uh, other games, if you take items to the end, you get a life or something. So I'm gonna see what all I get here. Just getting a ton of coins. I guess I only get 400 points for it, so that kind of sucked. Anyways, that's the end of my turn. Uh, my brother is up next. The rise of the piranha plants. Acorn Plains number five. Um, the great thing about the assist mode is the person using a game pack can pretty much stun any piranha plant. As you can see there, even the giant piranha plants pretty much they can't move or do anything if they are being tapped on by the person with the game pad. So it makes things really easy. Don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, but um it will help out and come in handy quite often in this let's play, especially in some of the later levels when they have some better positioned piranha plants. Um, just gonna go ahead and just kind of jump over everybody. Um, now one of the things that I really dislike about some of the newer Super Mario Brothers games are the Hammer Bros. Um, in the past, the Hammer Bros were some of the hardest enemies ever for me. Remember as a kid playing Super Mario Bros. 3, the Hammer Bros were just gigantic pain. Same with the um, ones that threw the boomerangs. They were just always the guys that would get me. And then they had Big World with the giant Hammer Bros, and it was just 
meant to give me nightmares. But here in the newer games, they're really slow paced and it's almost like they're made to uh, be easy. I'm helping my brother out by getting him hit. Um, and also if you tap on them, it's an instant kill. Or it will stun them where they can be killed pretty easily, so they're not really that big of a deal. Let's try and get them killed. Um, so far we haven't died yet. See, just tap on them. They're disabled. And... Alright. Teabagging. We love teabagging. <laughs> Halo in us is coming out. But we're building up the lives here pretty quickly. We're up to 12. And by the end of this Let's Play, we'll have about 100, if not more, most likely. Anyways, it returns to uh, me, where I'm going to do this mini game here to the left. And I'm really bad at this mini game. Here at first, the object is to collect lives and coins to avoid the Bowser coins. And I just seem to do a horrible job at this. And I get off to a good start. And I always ruin it. So I'm up to two. I'm plus two at this point in the game. Um, plus three. Now there's two. Just one. And time's running out, and I'm even again. So I do a really bad job at this entire thing, and it's a consistent process of me always messing up this mini game throughout the entire Let's Play. So it's really unfortunate. Now, before I can continue to the castle, I have to do this kind of like another throwback to Super Mario Bros. 3, where um, there's an enemy floating around the overworld that you can. And if you run into, you have to fight them. But in this one, they give you stars. And my brother is going to go out of his way to ensure that I die at this because he keeps tapping them down. He's using the gamepad, and if you tap on Piranha Plants, they go back down into their hole. Um, and he does that consistently to make sure that I can't get to the guy. So I've got seven seconds left, and he's putting him down and blocking me. <laughs> so time runs out and that's the first time we've died at this game and it definitely will not be the last time so thankfully thankfully it will let me skip that this time and proceed straight to the castle let me swing back castle and uh, it's going to carry on again this is me playing this round Have him take me up. I was hoping it'll let me keep running. I like the older Mario games where you could find little hidden places and just go way up into the level and just kind of bypass everything, especially in some of the underground levels. And you would always uh, end up um, finding like a warp zone, which was, I think, pretty cool. Um, of course, it makes the game easy and you can beat them really quickly, but it was still a nice little feature for people who are just trying to have fun with the game. Anyways, um. Wait, if you didn't notice, uh, and I don't remember how I explained this, but the person using the gamepad, if they charge themselves up by you jumping on their blocks enough, it will power up a little meter, and when it gets filled up, a star will form and if the person using the gamepad touches it with a stylus, uh, they get powered up and they can pretty much kill any enemy in the game um, just by tapping on it. And that includes bosses, um, even the final uh, boss fight of Bowser, he's not immune to it though it does take a lot of taps to kill them. But it, it's very helpful for some kind of like stress areas with a lot of enemies, you can just kind of like hold up a second and power up the person using the gamepad, so it's a little cheat. Uh, my brother is uh, tapping on these guys, if you tap on them and trying to kill me, 
you tap on them, they, uh, instead of going down, they actually go higher. So, he's trying to get me killed with all of that nonsense. Um, I was hoping this area kind of reminds me of the first castle in Super Mario Bros. 3, where you can, like, jump up, fly up using a raccoon tanuki suit, and get yourself a warp whistle, and I was seeing if there was some kind of hidden thing like that here, but it does not look like there is. Um, so we're just going to proceed to the boss anyways. And it looks like we're going to be fighting Lemmy as the name of the castle sort of implied. We're going to go ahead and go on through. Slide jumping. Alright, so guy's pretty easy, you just jump on his head as he's rolling around on a ball. Um, he throws bombs at you, the person using the gamepad can tap on the bombs to blow them up, and he's pretty slow paced so it's not all that hard to uh, get at him. Now, we were trying to figure out if, we weren't sure if uh, my brother hit him by tapping on the bomb or if it was me, but it is the jump, the bombs cannot blow up in his hand and hurt him. And I'm just going to jump on him here one last time here in one second. And uh, that will conclude this episode, this let's play, as we finish off here in the Acorn Plains and proceed to world number two. Thank you very much for watching this episode of my new Super Mario Bros. U let's play. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and uh, leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think of the let's play so far, if there's anything you would like to see in future videos, and anything else you find that would be helpful for me to know. Thank you, everybody, and have a good day.